Have you finally seen who you love? Is your heart at peace with that person? Is the wind whispering sweet melody to your ears? Is the air above you suspended? He is your dream man or dream woman? These and many more are some of the questions friends ask us when we are happy after seeing or meeting someone. But beyond this, there is the process of converting that feeling, transaction and first meeting into a lifetime experience. If you remain in God as a woman, he would bring someone who would chase after you and make you his wife. And as a man, he would show you who to chase to give you peace and bring you favor. Certainly, everybody has a part to play in the chasing process, the chased and the person chasing. And playing your role and part well would help in bringing and achieving the desired result. Let us carefully examine how God would give you someone that would chase after you or show you who to chase. It is the duty of the man to do the chasing while the woman positions herself to be chased. You don't hide yourself in your father's house or in your cocoon and expect him to see you and chase after you and don't be deceived that a man is shy no matter how shy he is. When he loves you, he would chase after you. Love is strong and can push someone to go beyond what they think they could do. It was the love that God had for us that made him die so that we can be saved, redeemed and reconciled to him. When there is love, there must be a push to chase and a desire to be chased. Look, when a man loves you, he would chase after you and when a woman loves you, she would create avenues for you to chase after her. But if she doesn't love you, she would block access and limit access for you to come close. A man enjoys doing the chasing. A man has it in his inside, in his DNA to do the chasing, to be in charge and process things. It is not your role or duty as a woman to chase after him or throw yourself at him. You would make him see you of less value when you throw yourself at him immediately. Allow him to chase after you. Allow him to come for you. Allow him to be the lead and come for you. A man is wired to chase after whatever he desires and would only stop if it is clear he can't get that thing or after getting close, something's put him off. The masculine energy of a man is made for achieving things. Achievements reside in the man's domain. When he makes you happy, makes you smile, wins you over, that's an achievement to him. Wait and let him do the chasing. As a man, before you chase after any lady, be sure to be convinced in your mind that she is the one you want and you must be disciplined to, to stick to it except things changes when you get close. You will always see better ladies who are probably having better qualities than her. You must be sure to be connected and aligned to God so that you won't run or chase aimlessly after someone that would ruin your life and soil the anointing that God has poured on your life. The mistake of Samson was chasing after the wrong woman. He felt he was too right and can't make mistakes and decided to chase after the wrong person. Don't make the mistake of chasing without consulting God. He would lead you to who to chase. He would make the chasing process easy for you, giving you someone that would give you peace, ensure your progress and attracts favor your way. As a woman, it is your duty and role to be positioned in a way that would make him chase after you. It doesn't mean you should dress less decently or exposed to make him see. A man sees beyond the container and wants to get to the content. Work on your behaviors, work on your appearance, develop capacity and he will chase after you. You would also see different men coming your way to chase after you. You are not to allow that to take you over. Some are coming for the wrong reason. You might be able to discern and know who among them is the best to lead you and then place yourself in a way to make the chasing with it. Here are other ways to position yourself for him to chase after you. Be confident of who you are. A man wants a confident woman. Don't let your identity be tied solely to the man. Know who you are and what you stand for. That way, 
you won't be carried away by anyone or anything. Especially in this age and time, nobody wants a liability or a woman who cannot be independent, especially when the need arises. Men love women who can take charge and be in control, women who won't fall to pieces in the absence of the man. This is one desirable trait that can make a man chase you. Be organized and engage. When you are organized and engaged, it helps you to have a planned life and this would make you busy and make him come chasing after you. When you are not organized or engaged, you might fall into loneliness and would be taken away by that and would be the one chasing after the man instead of him chasing after you. Get a life, get something doing, be productive, organized and engaged and he would plan his life and space to chase after you and not the other way around. Be mysterious and meticulous. When he comes around and trying to win over you and wants to know everything about you, be meticulous, reveal things gradually. He would want to stay around and get to know you better. Flirt with him. You must be appealing, clean and beautiful. Look beautiful, make up well and make him desire you. Be your best in how you present yourself. He would be moved to want to have you for himself alone. When you dress like an old woman, dirty or unkempt, you are pushing him away and no matter how good you think you are, how do you expect him to come close to woo or chase you when you are already looking out fashion? All of the above and more are ways to position yourself to be chased. There's no need to be anxious about the future. God already has all that planned out. As long as you stick to the script and play your role, you will eventually end up with the perfect person for you. Rebecca was tending her father's flock when she was found and so was Rachel. Esther listened to her uncle Mordecai, remained true to her God even in a strange land and became the queen. These women were simply doing what they were supposed to and fulfilling God's plan for their lives when they came to the notice of their future spouse. Have you been hoping that someone would notice you? Have you been single for a long time and starting to lose hope? First, you should check yourself to know if the problem is with you. Take time to make a thorough evaluation of yourself. Are you chaseable? Or as a man, are you qualified to chase anyone? What about your character? Your attitude to people around you? Can you say that you are a virtuous person while waiting for the right one to come around, do you make good use of your life, your time and your abilities? What defines your life? What drives you? All of these questions you should ask yourself. If you are sure that you are on the right path, then all you need is practice. As long as you have positioned yourself properly, the one God has chosen for you will have no choice but to notice you. And when he notices you, the chase will begin. Another thing to note is that there will be many chasers. While some will chase you for the wrong reasons and try to make you pray, there will be those that are genuine. It is now up to you to determine who is the right one for you. First, you must learn to depend on God and trust his judgment. Follow his instructions carefully so that you would not end up missing them. One of the reasons Esther was able to become queen was that she followed Mordecai's instructions. Don't become so overconfident that you make decisions without consulting God. You can also filter your chasers based on your purpose and direction in life. This is the more reason you have to know yourself before you become entangled. When you observe that you are going in the same direction as that person, you can decide to fall in line. If you have no direction initially, then anybody would fit in and any road will lead to your destination. Finally, the Bible tells us that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and has obtained the favor of the Lord. God is interested in your life and relationship. He knows what it means to be chased and to be found. He is, after all, the one who chased us first. As a lady, Stay on purpose, keep working on yourself and growing every day. Position yourself to be found and you will see 
the right person coming your way. While you wait, hold your head high and stand tall with grace knowing that God will bring someone that will chase you. Shalom.